Welcome to Movie Reviews by South the Normal with your host, me, Michael Soren. Today we're going to be talking about Disney's latest, The Strange World. It's an animated feature. Um, was in theaters for about a month, and now it's over on Disney Plus streaming. Stars uh, the voices of Jake Gyllenhaal, Dennis Qu Quaid, Gabrielle Union, Lucy Liu, Alan Tudyk. All kinds of uh, folks in this one. And it follows a family, um, the legendary Clades, Clades. They're a family of explorers where dad's gone missing about 30 years ago while his son stayed back and because he f discovered this plant that creates energy and it changes the world. And he decides, I don't need to explore. I got what I need. So Strange World is streaming over on Disney+. Plus. It's a mixed bag. It's okay. It's a little different from a Disney movie in kind of that respect. But it wasn't because they tried to create this world and everything, while it looks different, acts different, behaves different than what you're used to. So they created this upside down type place. But it's not fantastical enough. Like, I think, and it's hard, It's harsh, and I shouldn't do what I'm about to say, but I think about Avatar and the world James Cameron created with the Na'vi and all that, and how you're just blown away with the stuff that they made. It's not like that with this. And it could have been, but everything's too soft and too bubbly. Too cartoony, if you will. Um, when the family is at the forefront and they're interacting, it's a very good story. That you get between the the clades, the son wanting more, the dad being too afraid to let him have more, the other dad who was ashamed of his son and his decision. And it was advertised as this. I don't can't remember. I'm trying to think of the word. The way the trailer portrays it, it makes it like so big and so grand, but it's not executed to that nature. It's a fantastic voyage that will entertain you, but it's not groundbreaking or anything the way it was like portrayed it's got a nice little story it'll engage you but for the most part you're just kind of like okay i enjoyed that and now i need to watch something else for a little while like i wasn't it wasn't good enough it came out in theaters and then quietly moved over to disney plus and no one really noticed like nobody noticed either happened unless you were like paying attention and i don't hate it by any means I enjoyed it, but it just, something, it was just, it was just missing something. I guess because of the grand nature it was portrayed of what it was going to be doing, it didn't come to fruition. Kind of like Lightyear, how Lightyear was portrayed as, this is the movie that launched Andy's obsession with Buzz Lightyear, the nation's obsession within Toy Story, with Buzz Lightyear. And then you watch the movie, and you're just like... You did not live up to that expectation. You missed the mark. The assignment was too grand. Or you had too, like, your advertising was too much. So you got all our expectations up way high, and then you didn't meet them. And shame on us for having those expectations in reality. I try to go into the movies as blank as possible. Like, I try to quell any expectations I have positive or negative because I know it's not fair to the movie to not fulfill my expectations. That being said, if you're going to make these expectations for me, if you're going to advertise it like that for me, you kind of got to try a little harder. You got to try. It's like when, and it's probably again a terrible comparison, if you have a movie trailer come out and the focal point of that trailer is, look who's in my movie, not this is what my movie's about. That movie's going to suck. Because famous people aren't the story. Actors aren't the story. So, yeah, I can pay $20 to go see a movie and see Brad Pitt, see all, like, Jennifer Aniston, see... Anne Hathaway, see any of these people 
all these famous people that they're advertising as being in it. And I named the ones I named. I'm not picking on. Uh, they're just the ones that came to mind real quick. But you can see any of these people for twenty dollars and stare at them for an hour and a half to two hours. But what's that gonna get me? A whole lot of nothing. Like, I'm gonna leave being like that was a waste of twenty dollars. But if you have these people, who these huge stars, and you have this amazing story <coughs> told amazingly well with perfect, like with all these great greatness behind the execution, then I'm gonna be excited. Then you're gonna leave with a good taste. It, just, it didn't feel any different than other Disney stories. They built this, it was just filmed and built in this unique world to tell the same story about how humans, whatever. It tells like a very similar story that we hear all the time. Uh, it's just, it's a good little family story that my kid enjoyed. I enjoyed it to an extent, but from a review standpoint, I'm going to say it's a mixed bag. Passing grade only. Barely passing. I'll give it on a pass-fail. It passes, but just barely. Worth a shot. Check it out on Disney+. Plus. Let me know what you think in the comments. Strange World streaming now. Cool concept. For a same... Uh, not tired, but the same story we hear all the time. Um, nothing, nothing even that dazzling about it. The world it creates, while interesting, is very bubblegummy. Um... Even the bad monsters that want to kill everyone in that aren't. They're very bubblegummy monsters. Again, it's Disney, so maybe they were like, nope, too harsh. You got to soften that out. I don't know. Can't say that for sure. But worth a shot. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Thank you guys for tuning in. You guys are awesome. <laughs>